Roman Abramovich is the best boss in the world of football. Period. I don't want to hear anything. My boss. And we miss him at Chelsea Football Club for sure. What an honor. So John Obi Mikel been talking. He actually got his own podcast at the moment. The Obi One podcast. Very, very good one. You have to check it on all the platforms, including YouTube. And he's been talking to Talk Sports, right? And Man, it's very, very touchy. So, John Obi Mikel, my dad got kidnapped while I was playing for Nigeria at uh, the 2018 World Cup in Russia. Right? Because what people do is they kidnap your family back home because they know you have money and you're going to send a lot of money for them to release your, your family. Right? So, John Obi Mikel continues. We were about to play against Argentina. Two hours before the game, I got a phone call from my brother saying, my dad got kidnapped. Wow. Two hours before you play for your nation, for Nigeria, right? He goes, the first time he was kidnapped uh, was sh shocking because that was the f uh, the second time in 2018 but before that when he was at chelsea the dad was kidnapped again <laughs> because they know they're gonna get money right so uh we're gonna continue very quickly here uh he couldn't even r leave the room he couldn't tell anybody he was alone in the room for about 30 minutes thinking what am I, am I going to do? But we are about to go into the biggest game of our lives. We are about to play against Leo Messi's Argentina. Chelsea were very, very supportive. I remember Roman Abramovich saying, do you want me to send people over? Because I know if I send people over, I can get your dad out. I was like, how are you going to do this? And he said, Roman Abramovich, don't worry about that. Just let me know if you want that option. I can do it. Four or five days later, John Obimikel's father was released and rescued by the police. What an honor, Roman Abramovich, very supportive. I still remember when Ivory Coast were in trouble, war, this, uh, war over there, and he went, he flew his private jet with Jose Moreno to support Didier Drogba in one of the games in Ivory Coast. Who would, who would have done that? What kind of an honor in the world of football instead of you know, flying to Bahamas and enjoy your holiday, you are going to a war zone to support one player. You can say whatever you want. Roman Abramovich, always in our heart.